I'll take a seat. It's unfair. Hello there. Another happy life. A Sith sword is enhanced by submerging it in a trough of blood spilled in anger. Grinding its edge with Svolten Rhyolite will ensure it never dulls. What did Sith use before lightsabers were around, or rather invented? Well, they actually used Sith swords, or Sith warblades. These were melee weapons used by Sith in the days of the Sith Empire. They were similar to the weapons used by Ancient and First Jedi, however Sith swords were distinguished from Jedi katanas by their fundamental nature. They were powered by and empowering the dark side of the Force. If you haven't seen one of my really old videos regarding Sith alchemy, I recommend you guys watch that one after or before this, as it will explain a lot more of the abilities that the Sith had. A user skilled in the dark side could alter the weapon's molecular structure. They would make it stronger and sharper, reverse its magnetic polarity, turning it into a high temperature superconductor that could deflect blaster bolts and any weapon that shot at it. Now, a special ability that this sword had, due to the weapon's magnetic properties, was that when it was shot or rather charged with force lightning, the blade would attract and absorb the energy, storing it like an electric capacitor until the blade made contact with another object, where the stored electrical energy was discharged, to an extremely devastating effect. The origin of the first Sith sword ever constructed is unknown, but it is possible it may have predated the earliest lightsabers. It was developed by the ancient Sith, and adopted following their arrival on Korriban. Many Sith Lords such as Marka Ragnos, Nega Sato, and Ludo Kresh all used Sith swords over lightsabers, either for tradition or because they preferred the more visceral feeling of sword cutting through flesh. Now I imagine this is something Darth Maul would have really enjoyed. Unfortunately, the sword's tradition was either lost or broken to make way for more efficient Sith lightsabers. Now, a very particular Sith sword was made during the era of Darth Revan and Darth Malak's rule. The sword that was developed was the Sith Tremor Sword, used by Dark Jedi and Sith Troopers alike. Darth Malak was rumored to possess a powerful Sith sword recovered from Korriban, although he rarely used it in combat. These swords of the Sith were last seen when Tavion Axmas, possessed by the Force Ghost of Marka Ragnos, revealed the hidden sword inside the Ragnos Scepter in a battle against Jaden Kor. The sword would glow with dark side energy, ending with the defeat of Ragnos and the destruction of the sword itself and the scepter altogether. So what do you guys think of these Sith swords? Do you think they were more powerful than lightsabers or were they more for a traditional age? Maybe for an era that was not as civilized as today's in Star Wars. I'm sure Darth Maul would have appreciated cutting the flesh of anyone with a sword. He was that brutal after all. Thank you for watching today's episode, guys. Let me know what you think about it, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. Now, full